Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the dangers of considering things an investment that really shouldn't be considered an investment. So this is even more, it's not just Rolexes, it is Pokemon cards, Magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all types of cards, One Piece if you will, Meta Zoo for instance, that would be a big one. Uh, it could also be sports cards from Sports Card Investor. A lot of the cards that he said would go up did not go up. So the head of Rolex SA said viewing luxury watches as investments is dangerous. I 100% agree. Now, why do so many people want you to believe your collectible hobby should be turned into an investment game is because then you would buy more. So instead of buying two watches, one to wear, you know, and another one for maybe a classier event, one in everyday watch, you would buy more. So imagine that we thought we believed cars were an investment. Well, we would want more than two cars, right? Because God, like, why don't we just drive more cars? And we would want to drive the Lamborghini one day and the Ferrari one day and the G-Wagon one day and, and so on because they would be investments, but we know that cars are a depreciating asset, minus maybe some of the more classic cars that cost a lot of money to maintain. So I would argue they're also depreciating when you count the amount of money that you put in in maintenance fees. Well, um, the answer is actually quite simple and, and it's very honest to you guys, is that the people selling the collectible items like the Rolexes, Often, like Anthony Farrar, they want you to believe it's really good. He had the buyback guarantee. Even at the very end, he had the guy Wesley pretend to buy. And that's why I think Wesley gets off pretty uh, clean, if you will. Uh, people have forgiven Wesley, but you have to understand how they met. Those watches were not Anthony. Anthony was not selling a million dollars of watches to Wesley to put in a safe like he said he was. No, no, no. It was the opposite way around. Wesley was a wanting to be a part-time dealer, and he had a million dollars of watches, and he actually wanted to sell them. So in hindsight, no one was investing a million dollars in watches to put in a safe like Anthony suggested they would. So I think um, definitely you have to look at this from the perspective of who is saying Hey guys, look at the great deals we have. Look, look at the amazing opportunities you have. And I, I'll be honest, I fell for it too. I fell for it. I did, I did, I did, I did. And the problem is really, I mean, it's really like, it's really, uh, like instead of having two watches that you can enjoy, that you can wear, you now have 20 watches and because somebody told you it was investment and, and it would always go up, that's the same thing from sports cards that I found myself in. Instead of buying the cards that I love and I actually would enjoy, I bought cards because people told me it was an investment and that created the big sports card bubble where a lot of these sports cards and players right now are down 80, 90% from their all-time highs. Same with Magic the Gathering, same with Pokemon, same with Yu-Gi-Oh. You could honestly say it's the same with almost every single game. And in context, um, that's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe because then you would spend more money than you normally would. You would spend, instead of buying one watch a year, you might buy 10 because you feel like you can sell and trade them and you can make profit. If you're making money, like Marco said, if watch prices are going up every day, you know, wow, I mean, that sounds good to me, right? I, I enjoy collecting watches. Well, if I buy something, I can wear it. And the whole idea can be summarized by Anthony's buyback guarantee where he guarantees like 40% interest over like nine months. That is a ludicrous deal. And he actually never mentioned who the people were who did the buyback guarantee, right? The watch prices actually went down. And he was on the record for saying he lost almost a million dollars doing the buyback guarantee where you would buy a watch from him at his current price. 
in nine months, you could uh, you could have you have the option to sell the watch back for that price plus forty percent interest. Yeah, I mean, so you're only buying. I mean, he's. I mean, why would it, why would he do that? I don't think it was real. I truly don't feel that was real, especially if he needed money. He's not going to buy a watch at a fifty percent loss. 60% loss. A lot of these watches went down a ton. Uh, so he couldn't, and, and people th thought he was like some type of genius. He couldn't, for the life of him, pick what watches could go up. And and that's very sad, right? That is definitely quite sad that he, for the life of him, could not pick six watches where their value would actually go up. All six of them went down. Some of them went down by 60, 70% when you... In, include the interest he was paying that is sickening right that is pretty sick in my opinion so again we have our situation it is what it is like I, I think Anthony is someone who loved promoting it as investment and financial I, he would get in debates with me right so I have a college education uh, he would get in debates about with me like oh college doesn't matter and this but like you you see how financially illiterate he is Right when he's talking about finances and watches, it is so bad. I wish like we could pull up those videos again, but every other episode included, oh, buy this watch. Oh, you need liquidity, buy this watch. Like he was really, really into the financial part of uh, watch selling and watch stealing, uh, to the point that it was just so cranes. Like it was so bad. It's so such bad information. Again, hindsight, it's twenty twenty, but. Even at the time, I'm sure people were like, wait, that is really terrible information. Why are you giving it? Well, he's giving it because if you believe watches are an investment, you buy twenty, you buy a million dollars of watches like Wesley, supposedly. Again, I think Wesley got off scot-free, but I do think Wesley was, I mean, I mean, he participated in the $1 million video, which we now know is fake, where Wesley pretends to buy a million dollars of watches to as an investment to put in his safe from Anthony. Remember that? Yeah. I think, you know, I was pretty, I was very kind on Wesley because I didn't, I thought there was far more responsible parties, including Liz and Darby, and obviously Anthony at the time. But in hindsight, I look at that video and Wesley either was part of it or he knew what he was, he looked very uncomfortable. So I'm pretty sure he knew what Anthony was trying to do. Anthony was trying to promote that watches should be taken as an investment. They only go up. Because look at this guy. He bought a million dollars of watches for me as an investment to put in the safe that can only go up. So why don't you buy a million dollars of watches for me, random dude? Bob? Bob? You in? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.